Maintenance costs and downtime are huge expenses for refuse companies, but we take a measure to trim those way, way back. What do we do? That's what we're gonna talk about this week. This week, we're gonna talk about maintenance and downtime, but in a little bit of a different way. Big way on that is how we prevent having to deal with those. Because let's face it, you're either going to do the maintenance up front when you find it convenient, which is usually never, or it's gonna make you do the maintenance when it finds it convenient, which is typically much less convenient than it is for you. That being said, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of solution. And in refuse, that definitely holds true. How do we take care of that? These side loader trucks are equipped with automatic greaser systems. When it comes to longevity of wear items where there's contact between them, lubrication is the key. And that is why these grease systems are such an easy investment for us to make. This video is going to be a little bit different as we're going to talk you through a few of the points on the installation of this greaser system. One of the first things is removing all of the Zerk fittings that will be replaced with hoses and fittings for the grease system. Most applications have close to 80 fittings that will be replaced. The main lines are run from the front where the grease system starts back to the back where the body pivots on the frame. At this point, a block is installed to enable grease to flow to the chassis parts also. We'll talk about the blocks more in a bit. All of the lines are run and then zip tied along other lines to ensure of their safety and longevity. On the chassis, the rear suspension and rear S-cam bearings are given lines and fittings for the system. On the front, any greasable pivot points on the suspension as well as the tie rod ends are also given lines and grease fittings. Finally, the front kingpins are set up to receive lines and fittings there also. The system is set to dispense a certain amount of grease on an hourly basis. Through the blocks, the grease is metered. Heavy use and wear items like the front kingpins and the refuse container arm get more grease than lower use items like the tailgate. It's this metering that makes sure that there is enough grease at each of the points throughout the system while minimizing waste and mess. The automated arm is a key point on this system. Without the automatic greaser system, the arm would need daily or at least weekly maintenance. The arm can extend from 12 to 1500 times per day. Without this steady stream of lubrication, the arm would quickly wear requiring maintenance and downtime. Places like the Packer offer specific challenges as we need to mount the lines to a moving part. In this area, a hydraulic grade 1 million cycle wear life hose is used in order to bring grease to the distribution block. This offers the required durability needed to match the service life of the rest of the components. The routing and mounting of these lines are also carefully designed to minimize the possibility of any issue. In other areas such as the tailgate, the lines are run inside of the body in order to keep them protected from anything that could reach out and snag them. These extra steps make sure that your system runs smoothly for years to come. Let's summarize this with just a couple of quick points here. First off, this truck is doing some of its own maintenance as it's going down the road. When it's operating, it's getting maintenance done. A lot of other trucks, you've got to pull it into the shop and that's downtime. That's money that you're spending where it's just not doing anything but getting maintained. This truck is doing that while it's in operation. And that's a huge part of the genius with this. The other part of that is the installation. There's so much experience behind the installation when we do these trucks that makes it so you're not gonna have problems that maybe someone experienced a few years ago. To us, that is part of where you experience that premier difference. 
With that being said, if you have any questions, do me a favor, put those in the comments right below. We'd love to hear from you as always. Do me another favor too, if you would please. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Make sure you hit that notifications bell too, so that way you know when we're coming out with the next video. We've got some other cool behind the scenes kind of insider looks projects that I'm really excited to show you guys. So with that being said, I will see you soon.